So where are you guys? We are in the lab. Where are you? Yeah. yeah. Tell us. Garage in Fab Lab. Okay. I, I will. What, what we will do is that Thiago is the, is the host, so I will let him okay. talk about the place where where we are because it's a new place. He, he will explain it. Okay. okay. Sorry for you. Yeah, yeah. If you make a visit, sorry, it's the Wi-Fi is a bit, it's not really good, so we yeah. put us there. We are we are uh, temporarily with issues in the internet, <laughs> so many issues because we have uh, moved uh, recently, so we are uh, making the re renewal of the place. Yeah, is that yeah. yeah? Okay, renewal. So, uh, Garage Fab Lab is the second Fab Lab from Brazil, and it, it, it's um, uh, previously was a, a, an enterprise, and now it's becoming a non-profit organization. Okay. So we are passing for a huge transformation right now. Uh, the administration is is different, you know. It uh, we are live, we are. Oh, oh I'm losing you. Transformation. So the space is basically we have uh, we are in in the third floor of a building. Uh, the first one we have the CNC in in another school. Uh, it's a school uh, of um, uh, to to work with wood to make uh, furniture and stuff uh, and we have one CNC one uh, big CNC machine downstairs here will be uh, uh, the, the administration office and this other part will be a classroom a small classroom okay um, around here we have more space Sorry, we have this. This will be the the main space of the Fab Lab. Okay. We will have uh, two, two tables here. We have already made one. Uh -huh. we are making the uh, tables yes. of uh, I I don't remember the name is uh, open open desk. Open desk. Yeah. Yeah, we we changed a bit uh, the the drawings. Okay. This here will be the laser okay. room, okay. and we will have also here on the other side a three D printing room and okay. electronics. We okay. have a bunch of things around here, and uh, the most recent uh, acquisition of the the team. Is the biohack biohack place now? We will have okay. here one uh, wet lab. Yeah. It was a, was a, a kitchen, and now we'll be will be we will create some things in biological ways. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So this is the the space we are okay. working together here to. Renewal. Uh, we are scrapping the walls and making the furniture, and it's 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 been a huge uh, movement for us. So you you didn't move from one place to another. Is, is that uh, yeah? We okay. we have moved from one place to another. We were uh, previously in the center of São Paulo, okay. where the uh, the. Uh, uh, como eu disse, uh, locação, the, the rent, the rent uh, was so expensive, and uh, Fablab was one enterprise with was a company, well, well, co company with three uh, associates, mm -hmm. and then uh, one of them was kicked out. Okay. So, yeah, and then the community uh, started to join and embrace. The cause, and okay. uh, we we started to make a new kind of of approach, um, more uh, non-profit uh, approach to to Fab Labs. So, what do you plan uh, to how to function? Do still you will have members? It will be open to you will have some open uh, workshop day or things like that. Or yeah, 
Yeah, th that we are discussing because previously we had just one open day. Yeah. And now we want to to enlarge the the days of openness mm -hmm. so that uh, more people can use the machines. And uh, but the, the the major modification we are we are doing is we are aiming uh, to 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 change uh, the 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 connection of people that don't have uh, access to the machines really don't have the access to okay. the machines uh, going to public schools in Brazil mm -hmm. uh, that the different in economy. Uh, in Brazil and the, in the Union uh, Union European uh, <laughs> <Je> mélange. <laughs> okay. uh, I'm mixing the the, the, the languages, but uh, in Brazil we have a lot. Of when we are in the center of uh, a town, it's okay. But you in the in the uh, neighborhoods. Uh, Suburb, suburbs areas are so so poor yeah. so we are trying to change to make a difference uh, teaching that people how to use the machines to improve their their lives economically you know okay so but um, young people but also adults um, students uh, uh, of, of all kind. Yeah, we have a lot of, of different uh, people visiting and using the Fab Lab. Right now, we we are closed. Uh, uh, we are reopening maybe in next Tuesday. Okay. Uh, Wednesday, I'm sorry. Uh, will be the first open day after the the closing of the the older Fab Lab, the the older uh -huh. space. And I think that there is someone is knocking on the door. Okay. Uh, well, we are we have children, uh, we have uh, women, men, we have young uh, teenagers, we have uh, uh, people that is studying in, in universities. We have uh, like me, like myself. I, I am not graduated. And uh, I'm one of the members of the the, the Fab Lab. Okay. And yeah, and it's uh, uh, being the first one. That is, it is the only the the first uh, Fab Lab in São Paulo that is not inside one uh, organization or one how can I say uh, one institution. It is free. So we can do whatever we want. Okay, so it's uh, no membership. Or you will have uh, still uh, people pay membership or on the month, yeah, maybe, on the year. Maybe we will have one member, uh, membership, but we are aiming to create some uh, ways to raise money to go to public schools to teach about. Uh, okay, the, so you want to. Move. To, to build yeah. partnership with schools and yeah, previously was just one enterprise. Yeah. We were selling the, the the access to the machines. Now it's different. We are searching uh, for this this kind of approach. You know, uh, how how can we uh, take these machines to people that don't have uh, even internet? You know. Okay. To build, uh, you you're going towards um, uh, building furniture, building like open desk or um, objects, um, or are you doing also um, electronics? Um, as you know, um, uh, I want to I, know what we do. What what we, yeah? What materiality we will take uh, as objects or as construction or as electronics or or wood furniture, okay. or open open uh, furniture, or eventually uh, farming, uh, open farming. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, there there is a lot of uh, a lot of people here trying to make uh, different projects. Uh, we have Carolina, 
that uh, studied in his in she's uh, she's master mastered in uh, urban farming. Okay. So this is one of our uh, concerns. Mm -hmm. uh, the biohacking will also be a major. Oh, I lost. I'm losing you. Hello. Uh, space for uh, creating mantis from 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 the, the forest, the, the rainforest. Uh, I'm from Belém. I'm also the creator of Fab Lab Belém, mm -hmm. and I see the, the, this power of the biohacking. If we go there, where we have a, a huge amount of different different kinds of life, you know, bacteria and fungus, etc. So this is uh, we are we are very excited to develop some kind of stuff here. But you asked about yeah, we can create these ones. We made uh, we finished these uh, chairs in mm -hmm. this table yesterday. Okay. And they are made from open desk. So everyone that comes here can see. Okay, we can make with digital fabrication desks and you know furniture. Uh, but we can make also we are involved in creating some machines uh, we now we have just three 3d printers mm -hmm. uh, those are uh, not uh, created by us but we yeah. we are also, developing uh, a delta 3d printer to be the the most accessible 3d printer in brazil okay uh, uh, we are aiming to achieve a price of uh, a uh, thousand reais that is uh, oh, two two hundred and fifty dollars. No, it's very like, cheap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's it, it's really cheap uh, to be a kit where yeah. people will assemble. Okay, that will be the the most uh, cheap cheap three uh, D printer. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Great. So. And, uh, are you in working with other people, other fab labs? Who are your best friends in the network, or are you in such network uh, like Acteria? You know Acteria on um, biohacking and citizen science, for instance, or well, I don't know some maybe network in South America. Or... Yeah, well, uh, the biohacking we we made here, we we made. Uh, uh, one course called uh, Biohack Academy uh -huh. with uh, the guys from uh, WAG Society. Okay, okay, yeah. In Amsterdam. Yeah, yeah. 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 We, we met them today too. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. So uh, we were together with them in the last uh, course uh, from the Fab, Fab Academy. Uh, uh -huh. I'm sorry, uh, Biohack Academy. Yeah. And also people from Rio de Janeiro uh -huh. uh, were with us. We made some uh, because they don't have the laser cutters. Uh -huh. So we made the the parts uh, with the laser cutter and sent them to uh, by mail. And they was they they were able to to make the the, the course also. And it, that was incredible. Well, also, I am a major uh, example of, that, of uh, exchanging Fab Labs, Brazilian Fab Labs. I'm mm -hmm. from Belém, yeah. in the north, mm -hmm. and I started the Fab Lab there. And I came here to learn more because I, I we don't have all the machines, so yeah. I'm here to, to learn more, to use the other machines. and. Maybe even create uh, some machines, some 3D printers, or I don't know. Uh, I'm working on it uh, to take uh, back to to my town, to my fab lab, and to improve even more. Um, and the Brazilian fab labs are just starting to to engage with with, with each other. Uh, in this year, in February. We had the, the first um, 
the first meeting of uh, all Fab Labs. So it was really nice to, to see all that people with uh, yeah. posit positive thinking. And <laughs> Great. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but that that is, yeah. It's something like Takes that. Time, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you said uh, your bug farming. Uh, are you in some networks in uh, sharing uh, like open desk, but like hacker or open farming or this uh, type of network? They share, yeah, uh, you know, yeah. to cut your I don't know uh, beehives or yeah. things for open yeah. farming. They we share plants. Made, we haven't made uh, nothing. Uh, in, in urban, urban farming, we are making some projects that are just in the paper right now. We are, yeah, we're starting to. We need to finish this fab lab first. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> and after we are, we are, we have a bunch of ideas, a bunch of different people, but uh, also uh, Carolina is is uh, uh, in touch with people from permaculture. Yeah, nice. Yeah, from all all of Brazil. Uh, me too. I I I want to make a similar fab lab, like Valdaura, in in Barcelona. Uh, mm -hmm. They mix digital fabrication, permaculture, and uh, creation of uh, um, sustainable energy. Mm -hmm. uh, so, the fab lab Belém is that uh, it's aimed to that how we can preserve the, the forest and yeah. use technology to do that. And uh, Carolina also wants to do this kind of stuff, even improving the, the farming, uh, farming divides to, to plant into the towns, creating electronics to, to water uh, and to, yeah, you know, to, to make some improve the culture of farming into the, the urban parts. But we don't have uh, right now, uh, uh, no, not even a project uh, finished in this area. Yeah, you're um, yeah. Let's the first one, the one that think, I think, I think we will, we will, we are one of the first projects we are, we are going to do t together is the smart citizen version, a Brazilian version of Smart Citizen, you know, uh, yeah, it's one of the projects we are expecting to to create right now, and yeah. And do you work, uh, or do you sometimes have um, artists or designers uh, coming to you uh, with some ideas to things they want to make, or, or do you kind of plan to also connect with uh, design school or art school, or? Yeah, well, uh, a lot of, of uh, designers appear here, and I, I'm also kind of uh, interested in why so many architects are coming here. <laughs> I really don't know why architects love so much digital fabrication, and not so many engineers, and we have a lot of designers and, and architects. Uh, look at me! I'm a. I was a musician, digital yeah. photographer, and cinematographer, and now I'm creating some, uh, electronics. You know, yeah. it's uh, stuff to to see. But every time they show up, we show uh, a little bit of what is possible to create with the machines. We have a, uh, one one course that we show the space. We show. What what is possible to create? Some we we show a slide light show with a bunch of uh, different projects that are possible to to create. And, yeah. yeah, that's it. But well, um, one thing that I I should uh, have speaked about is about the Brazilian culture. I was also I studied by two years uh, sociology. Yeah. And uh, in in that time, I learned that Brazilians don't like to uh, create stuff. Mm -hmm. to, to don't like hard labor. Hard labor yeah. is not good. 
it's something that is is it's inside the minds of Brazilians from the the, the time of slavery, yeah. where they used the the Negroes uh, force work to 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 do the hard work. So that remained in our culture, even if it's uh, not. Uh, people don't 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 like to speak about this, you know, like racism and mm. prejudice. But we have that, and we are struggling here to create a maker community. You know, because to actually be able to make someone make something mm. here in Brazil is even more difficult because yeah. of this. I, I know I'm so. not. I will not scratch that table. No, I will not hammer that. That's uh -huh. too difficult. I prefer to study or to make something more useful of my life. And that's uh, that's interesting. Uh, I yeah. really don't know. We so are have to build a make a um, yeah community too in the idea of being a maker. <laughs> yeah, you know, sometimes they. Oh no, I will not. I will not open this wall. Oh yeah. Because I don't, I can get shocked. I know, I don't know. Maybe well, it's too dangerous. My mother keep me saying that, don't touch that. That that's dangerous. You know. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's incredible. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Gambia culture. Yeah, and Gambia culture. Same time, well. same time you have that that culture, you know, but I think that the Gambiaja is more, uh, it's more for uh, the people that do it are not very uh, rich, yeah. they are more poor, they do it yeah. because they don't have money to pay it, some, someone else to do it, so yeah. they do it. Yeah, yeah but we have, yeah, don't know it's Gambiaja, Gambiaja is repair culture. And, and also, we have, uh, in Brazil, we have uh, more than 20, uh, 100, uh, no, I'm sorry, uh, 200 Indians, uh, different kinds of Indians here, yeah. tribes, you know, yeah, yeah. tribes. We have a lot, uh, and they are all makers, they are born yeah. makers, they are kids and and they are making the, uh, their uh, own weapons and, you know, they are, uh, yeah, it's incredible. Yeah. It's, it's, I really don't know why we are still doing that way, but we are trying to correct this problem. And, yeah. Yeah, Gambiara culture, repair culture is interesting too. Huh? And it's, yeah. yeah. So, about Gambiara. Yeah, about Gambiara. Yeah, yeah, very yeah. interesting. So yeah, still some uh, good people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. So um, I think we're good. But uh, Fabia, maybe you want to add something, or you something we no, should just, mention? No, I don't know if you if you spoke about the um, the Officina Lab because you know. No, the, 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 maybe the, we can go downstairs. Uh, if you don't know because <laughs> yeah. I, I've I, I don't know if you've seen the picture that we took with the webcam yeah they are a picture of the place downstairs where there is the CNC machine that they share okay. with this woodwork stuff so this is why you don't see the same picture yeah, here yeah. video yeah. than the picture downstairs how many square meters would be the fab lab how many square meters would be the fab lab oh I don't know. It's it's big. big. How many square meters? It, downstairs yeah. is downstairs is, is huge. I don't know, like two thousand. Yeah, oh. easily one thousand. One thousand, but with the three yeah. three stages, yeah, and maybe wow. two two thousand meters square meters. Wow. But we have two enter, two entities here. We have one enterprise, and this uh, Fab Lab Garage in Fab Lab is uh, one. NGO. Association, Association, yeah, yeah, and they are um, they create uh, they teach how to create uh, uh, furniture, yeah. Okay. And, 
it's uh, one incredible space from Sao Paulo. A lot of, uh, you know, uh, workers that are, have already his work in, in the in the free time they come here to learn how to create uh, yeah furniture because it's getting expensive really real quick uh, quick quickly here in, in Brazil you know it's yeah yeah it's, yeah it's it's a shame that we cannot show you because the internet downstairs is not very good right now yeah what's up? <laughs> yeah <laughs> we are using downstairs with cables and it's not yeah all right well obrigado <laughs> um, okay thank you um fabian if you think you, we should say something else otherwise i think we no i think i think it was like a turn because as he said this place is new they're building something quite different uh, they changed the model yeah. from a private company to a an associative uh, space, which is community lit space. Yeah. But yeah, that's it. I, no, I think it's you say you said everything. Thank you then. Uh, muito obrigado. Okay. <laughs>